Welcome everyone to the King of the Palace, presented by New Palace Lanes in Fitchburg, Mass. Sponsored by North End Mazda Subaru in Lunenburg, Mass. I'm Dennis Nuzzo, staying here with this week's bowlers. To my right, after last week defeating Ray Weatherby, the number two seed, Chris Monahan. Welcome back. Thank you very much for having me back. And a number one seed to my left, the number uh, with a roll score of 438, no stranger to King of the Palace, Dean Sullivan. Welcome back, Dean. Thank you. Uh, the last time, I, if I remember correctly, you two faced each other was in the BCT Finals. And uh, how did that turn out for you? Ah. Uh, his, his partner carried him. <laughs> so a little animosity right now? Yeah. It, it payback time. Well, there you go. See, what are your thoughts? It's all right. We, we, we accept the challenge. <laughs> Throw my ball and see what happens. Well, that's all you can do. And uh, at, when the smoke settles, when are you going to be crowned the new king of the palace? Are you going to look for, uh, get the revenge you so richly want? Or is he going to beat you for the second time? We'll see. Time will tell. 20 short boxes. One of them will be crowned king. See everyone then. Up first on Alley 3 in the finals for the world title. In the title of King of the Palace, Dean Sullivan opening up with a half wisher to the, to the right, left. to the left. To the left. Didn't want that. Dean's highest average is a 112. He's been bowling for 45 plus years. Nice bid. His high single is a 184. His high trip is a 450. He's coming out of Manchester, New Hampshire, and his home alleys are Alita Lanes. Great house. Dennis, is there any bowling alleys in Manchester? Up there, man? Lakeside. Um, Concord? Uh, that I don't know. Okay, Dean Sullivan, rough first box here. Did not want to obviously open up in a half wish to left or half wish to right. We had, we had a great field of bowlers. You come down to the final two. Mr. Chris Monahan versus Dean Sullivan for the coveted King of the Palace oh. world title. I don't know if you heard the interview or not, but these two faced each other in the finals of the BCTs too. They yeah. did. Yeah. No strangers. He's left the 1710, commonly known as the high low jack. Wow, oh, he might steal it. He, he stole, stole it. it. Wow, you better oh, wipe your feet on that people, one, Dino. People, you got to be kidding me, Dennis and David. Is that the bowling gods of blessing? Both them? these guys throw the ball hard, so anything that anything is possible with so these two. Dean's out for blood. He wants revenge for losing in the BCTs. Absolutely. Yeah. Up now, Chris Monahan. Now, would, you, would the 1710 ever be being open? I mean, Tempins like that? No way. Oh, he's hoping he found the head. Oh, he got a break. All right. <laughs> it's going to be one of those kind of matches, I see. Oh, Chris aver it's... Chris's highest average is a 99. He's been bowling for 25 years. His high single is a 178. His high trip is a 403. Shooting the 610 to get a spare. This would maybe. Oh, oh he did, wow. He bounced I'm it. telling you, they bo these guys throw the ball hard, so any extra wood banging around most likely will go. Well, speaking of the speed of the ball, David, and Dennis, you know that the ball has to travel 40 miles an hour. Well, there's some people that can't even throw that that hard. Well, so. then, then the next contact with the pin for a second. Oh, you didn't want that. Well, both bowlers had one getaway. Dennis, excuse me, Dean Sullivan with the half whistle to open, and Chris Hayden with the one on the fill. Nice bit on it, though. A little full, but not too bad. A little full, a lot of sap. Yeah, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Give me that one again, people. A little Give full, lot of sap. All right, well, that's a David Metallo original. No, it's not. Well, who said it original? Who said it before? Um, Clark W. Griswold. What? Hey, that's that's Chevy Chase. I know that one. Vacation Land movies. Wow. Christmas Vacation. One of the one of my favorite all-time show oh, movies. Clark Griswold. He, he was on top of everything. Okay. Oh, Dean, off to the right. But, you know, like I said, he throws the ball so hard. You know, he's left the one, the two, the five, and the seven with a piece of wood rolling up between the one, the two and the five. Got to split him. Got to split the one and the two. Let's see what happens. Ooh. Deep Leaves dark. the finger of God. Pinning very important here for the championship match. The pride. Oh, just kissed it. The pride that comes with the bowler who wins. To wear that belt, Dennis and David, it's, it's a great the, feeling. It's the only one 
in history. That's right. It's, it's the ultimate goal of any kennel pin bowler. To get on TV at David Metabolis, King of the Pavels tournament. Oh, right down the middle of the plate. Nice. Still carrying an extra. King of the Palace, whether you like it or you hate it. Who, who can, can hate, hate it? Oh, 10 pin bowlers. Yep. Yeah. Well, because be bashed them. That's probably right. <laughs> well, Let's go. Well, John, John Dave, Dave bashes them. John Smith? Yeah, John, John Smith. Smith. If that's your real name. Yep. Where's, great, Poca, where's Pocahontas? <laughs> the greatest sport. Going Look at this oh, shot. Oh, what a shot. A 4-7 off the what side What a pick wall. up. That, that should be a spare on principle. That's oh, a beautiful my shot. Oh, goodness. Oh, my good. Can I give him a spare zero just in principle? Spare zero, yeah. <laughs> spare zero. Spare zero. Shot of the day so far. That was a nice pickup. Who's Chris on alley three. Belt. Who's going to wear the belt around the Off to the left. Leaves the four horsemen right. The one, three, six, and the ten. No David. Stu Dryer, Miller, Crowley, and Lee. The four horsemen in Notre Dame. Oh. Arn Anderson, Tully Brant, Blanchard, yep. Rick Flair, and, and Ole Anderson, Ole. the original Four Horsemen. Right. That's that before your time, isn't it? I know who they are. I just it was before my time. Eight box. Chris's favorite shot is the five seven with no wood, and his least favorite shot is Steve's favorite shot, right. the spread eagle. Oh, oh, nice ball. Wow. Leaves oh. the five pin. Just so many times you see the ball go down and the five pin is always left, and I don't know why. He's got to play this far right. If he plays it straight on, it's going to fly right around it. Flat yeah. Down towards the cap? Right, right there. Ooh, oh, there he yeah, goes. Man. You, you had to. You had to play it that way. Yeah, it was the only shot he had to make him this pin. Right? Up now, Mr. Dean Sullivan. Bowls out. The league he bowls on is the RFAA. His favorite shot is the strike ball. And then his least favorite shot, any shot that doesn't go. Well, a little extra time here, Dennis. I noticed it, yeah. After four, Chris at 48, oh. spear, Dean at 44. Dean Sullivan, no stranger to the king of the palace. He was one time, one half of the tag team yeah. champions. Yes, he was. And he wants to win the belt so he can try out for the King of Kings tournament. Yep. Who was he uh, partners with? He was partners with Dick Leach. Oh, that's right, the lefty. Wasn't he a lefty, Nick? No. I, I do can't not remember. remember. I don't remember. Well, he's left the 4 7 here for a 10 box. A report to so he picked the 7. Want to give a shout out to our sponsors, North End Mazda Subaru in Ludberg, Mass. Visit buynorthend.com or visit them in person for a new or pre owned Mazda or Subaru. Also, go to YouTube, type in Watch Me Suck at Bowling. See my good friend George do parodies on Candle Pin, Duck Pin, and Phony Baloney 10 Pin. Wow, that, that, that was an ocean ball. Well, he's left the 1 8 10 with wood. A Piece of wood up behind the one and off to the side of well, the you, one. You got to nail the head pin just straight on, I would assume. And he did, and oh, almost. Wow. All around it. All almost. Want to want to thank everybody that came out for uh, season, the final season five of the King of the Palace. Uh, we cannot do what we do without you. Nine bucks for being sold. And we're at 586 subscribers on YouTube. Still trying to get that 600 mark. Well, maybe we'll get 600 by season six. King of Kings tournament. Yeah. And it all depends on the Kings. Okay, Chris Moynihan up, throwing, killing. Wow, I drops a it. bomb and leaves the five I again. again. Two, twice, David. Different nope. alleys. I just don't know why. You, you see it most of the time. The five pins always the last ones to drop it, it, or stand up. But why is it a nice fish? Up, but why does it go out when you get a spread eagle? No idea. I know. Why? David, it's candle pin bowling. Uh, technically, it's angle of deflection, yeah, but, Rot rotation but, and speed. But Dennis, sometimes the head pin, what's it do? Go around the five pin yes. in the ball? Yes, it deflect it around, yeah, absolutely. When Chris is in bowling, he's a salesman at True Value, Apple Metal, and he enjoys spending time with the family. True Value used to be a uh, sponsor of candle pin bowling. Ooh. Yeah, did, did they sponsor the, uh, the old yellow pages? You remember the $10,000 yellow pages, or was that the phone? I forget. That was yeah. the yellow pages. But the True Value used to sponsor of Channel 5, yeah. if I remember Channel correctly. Channel 5, yeah. Long time ago. But then again, Dennis... Hint, hint. <laughs> <laughs> You're talking to the person who saw the first show on television. I was there, 1958, October. Wow. 
19 from my well, good. Go talk to True Valley. Tell him you were there. Tell him to sponsor our show. <laughs> I don't know if they sponsored the first show. That I can't tell you. The original announcer at Channel 5 Bowling was Jim Britt, the Red Sox. When Dean's not bowling, he is a uh, property maintenance. He also enjoys hunting, fishing, the kids and the family. Oh, oh there hey. you go. Now that time, David. The five pin was the last, the last one to go. One to fall down, right? You needed that. He's down 14, box to box. This is it, people. This is for the king of the pins. This is for the the belt. Yep. Nobody wants it more than these two guys. Well, lots of people wanted it, but this is the finals. What are you trying to say? <laughs> no, the prestige <laughs> to have it is just incredible. We I watched mean. a former King Corey Packard get defeated in spectacular fashion by Mr. Shu, which vacated the title. Now, after all the smoke is cleared, we have Dean Sullivan and Chris Monahan going for the five. Oh, oh, what a shot. Dude, that was a beautiful ball. Dude, the strike ball, we get the spear. Look at this crowd, huh? Nice, got some nice applause going on. I love it. Oh, excellent, excellent shot by Dean Sullivan. No we have a lot way. of newcomers in the, in the crowd. Hanging back and watching, spectacular. Thank you very much. Appreciate all your support and believing in what we do. Want to give a shout out to everybody on YouTube, Facebook, and all the local Access TV stations. Thank you for tuning in and watching and enjoying what we do. We read your comments. Dennis on face uh, on YouTube, myself on Facebook. Steve, of course, tablet, Stone Age, doesn't respond very much. He's that oh, he's, he's upgraded. Now he's carrier pigeon. <laughs> well, stage code. And if you want King of the Palace in your neck of the woods, Dennis, tell them what they have to do. Just contact your local public access provider. Tell them that you want King of the Palace in your neck of the woods. You sign a piece of paper. It doesn't cost you anything. They contact us, and we stream it to them. And we are looking for sponsors for Season 6 to help us grow, make us bigger, badder, and better. If, you want to if your company wants to sponsor the show, please contact us at newpalacelanes.com or call the alleys um, or I'll leave a comment on YouTube and we'd uh, love to have you as a sponsor. You get all the exposure. It's a proven fact that North End Mazda Subaru has gotten plenty of feedback. Absolutely. As well as watch me suck at bowling. Uh, we've had a ton of sponsors over the years. So if you want to help us grow and help support the show and get this show where it belongs on cable, Let's hook up. I'll do you justice. I promise. After eight, Chris Monahan at 91, Dean Sullivan at 92, working on a spear. Dean Sullivan, box number nine, better known Kennepin Bowling as the foundation box. Very, very big box up here. So Dean flipped it around. Right now he's up a pin plus his fill. Oh, he wants he's down 16 up. at one point. Dean's a pretty fill. clutch bowler. Nope, missed the head pin right, but, but drop shake. Got a good break. Leaves the 110 with a whole bunch of junk on the deck. Yeah, hit the head pin. This might go. Slam the head, slam the head pin. Slap and a tickle. <laughs> no, look at that. Oh, yeah. That was a slap and a tickle. You're right. Good call. Has he got three in a row, Dennis? He does. He's got a what? Three in a row? A lucky streak. <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh, that was a good one. Preemptive strike. <laughs> He's got a turkey. You know, we got to see um, the return of Jimmy Nestor. Yeah, Even though he didn't bowl, he came in to say hello. It was great to see him. Uh, always good to see a good friend. Also, we got to see uh, Johnny Blaze. Haven't seen him in a while. Yeah, he said he's been just been tied up with everything. Shooting six pin spear here. Ooh. Right Ooh. through the hoop, no grease. Got to see um, uh, the shoemaker return. Haven't seen him in a while. Too tough, Phil Clough. Yep. yep. Phil Clough always, always in the house. Oh, good old. Okay. Any box finishes with what then? Finishes with a 122 string. How many marks? Four? Four marks. Three okay. spares, one strike. Okay. Chris Monahan on alley three, closing out. He's at Match number one. He's at 91. 91. Nine, three, Something tells me this is going to come down to a nail biter oh. for the title. Yeah, absolutely. I would have Pressure. it no other way. Pressure's on both bowlers. Oh, oh, Jesus. Oh, wow. Look at this. Look That's at this. Just chopped the two pin. What the do we two got? pin knocked the four pin. The four pin knocked the five, and then the five six. took the nine. The six. <laughs> six. But <laughs> love with the one, two, seven. It's not too bad, though, if you split them. Oh, there you go. beautiful You're right. pick up. it, Dennis. Yeah, some nice wood back then. That was positioned real well. A half Worcester turned into a half Worcester plus. That wasn't even going to be a half Worcester. It was just a half pin. a disaster. Well, yeah. It turned out, and look what happened. This can't open bowling, people. Chris working on a spare on alley four. Oh, big ball here. 
ninth box. No better way than to get the spare in the foundation box. And he found the head pin. You are watching the king of the and palace, got, and he, he drops a bomb. Another slow motion delay the strike. The pin was the last one to go. Strike on spear in the tenth. Phil, now he's got two Phil balls. Unbelievable. This, this is match number one between two great yeah, veteran Canlip pin bowlers who are no stranger to each oh. other who met at the BCT doubles. Now they're vying for the coveted only in existence King of the Palace world title belt. Where, where's Chris live, uh, David? Chris is from Townsend, Mass. Well, he could be walking around Route 119. All oh, this. Those, double. All those streets wow. up in Townsend with He's the double. He's just trying to pour it on a little bit. Going Dean, in the match number Dean two. Dean Sullivan is from where? National? New Manchester, New Hampshire. Oh, I'm not too sure of the streets up there. Wow. Oh, see shot. that? <laughs> Talk about action, guys. How, what do we um, got, Dennis, after, after the, one? After the eighth box, Dean Sullivan was up nine, and he finished down nine. So Chris Monahan threw a 131. Dean Sullivan with a 122. This um, is going to come right down to the last ball, is, the last is, box is. for the world title, man. I'm telling you what. Dean is out on a mission. He wants to revenge his loss at the BCTs. Oh, he wants it. He told me. He, you know? He wants to win. But he's got to go through Chris Monahan. You know, don't let Chris's 99 average fool you. He can throw a bomb. It's back and forth, too. It's back and forth. It's, you know, you're up, I'm up, you're up. It's great bowling. Three-step approach, drops the shoulder, wins it. And, and you know, if pin. it wasn't for the ten pins, it'd be like a one-pin match. Right? Who's, who's got the uh, handicap? Yeah, because uh, yeah. Yeah, Chris is getting ten of string. So, yeah, it would have been straight up one pin. Oh, Ooh, wow, that. off to the left. Yeah, didn't want that. Well, okay, he wants to get these two pins here for the 10 box. Chris wants to give a shout out to his family. He says thank you very much. Also wants to give a shout out to his newborn son, Gregory, and his fiance, Leah, who are in the audience watching intently and cheering on dad. His son wouldn't take his eyes off the title belt. Every time I moved with it, he'd oh. follow it. It was, it was hilarious. Whoa. Shiny. Yeah. Ooh, MK to the left. I didn't bring him on for the interview. Yeah. Did you? Yep, absolutely. Nice. No. Why not? Gotta love kids. I'm a family man, so gotta love kids. I try to get some commentary out of him, but he was just too shy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you shooting the four horsemen left there, the one. Ooh. Four seven took out. Wow. How in the world do you take Chris left the door open for Dean to open up something here. Yeah, two open blocks, but don't forget, he also gets a 10-pin handicap in those two boxes, so it's like he had a mark. Yep. Dean wants to give a shout out to everybody who's watching. Oh, that's a very nice, and nice compliment. I want to say thank you to everybody on YouTube, Local Access, and on Facebook for tuning in and watching the King of the Palace and supporting and believing in what we do. Because we can't do what we do without you. Throws a weak ball. Man, he's throwing the ball in the ocean and getting look a ton that, of man. luck. David, I would consider this, Dennis, I consider this a spare lead. Hit the no, head. It's kind of, what do you think? Well, I'll tell you what, if he Tough. hits the head pin a little full. I'd rather not have the dead one. But there you go. Yeah, he made it. Just drove it, drove the head pin. Well, he throws it so hard that it, yeah. you don't know what's going to happen, though. Yeah. That's the problem. Well, there's no, there's no rules in candle pin bowling how fast you can throw the ball. Nope. nope. You know, you throw the ball 40 miles an hour, you're making contact after you're throwing the ball from the lot the foul line in one second. Another one of my factoids. Dean oh. thought he had the oh. hammer. How does the 7 tenth stay up on that? It's game? what I tell you. I when you throw a ball down the middle of the plate and you celebrate before it happens, you get that. Well, I don't think that's celebrating. I think that's English. English meaning a little bit of oomph. Body English? Body What do you think, Dennis? You're the pro. You consider that on your Friday night league like David said? Some people do it. Some people don't. It's yeah. Ooh. I know. He tried. He made a good bit on it. It's not so much celebrating as it is you're trying to will the ball. Yeah. You know, trying to Reaction, get it. Reaction. It's nothing more than yeah. that. <laughs> will the ball to get nothing. Yeah. Be the ball. No, 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 no. Seven, ten. No, 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 no. Better, better no, 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 no. The rear old split and the rear old split, the seven, ten, one. Okay. What do we got, Dennis? Box to box. Dean is down 11 right now. Down 11 or 8 to go. Well, yeah. This is it. Once again, we <clears throat> be redundant. This is it for the best championship in the history of bowling. Oh, wide left. Leaves a mess. Got to throw the strike ball and make the spare. It's not too bad. He gets some nice, helpful yeah, wood yeah. right there. So, But you got to hit the head pin. You got to yeah, split these. Yeah. The wood should take out the four and seven. Ooh. A little full. A little full. Now he's got to get 
Yeah, I, I got to play the two on the right to make oh, sure. Oh, yeah, you got to go for yeah. the count. Yeah, go absolutely. Go for the count, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice bid, though. If you got the 10, you got to go for the count. Yeah, if it's first spear, you try to figure a way to try to your best try to get a spear, but it, when it's your tenth, third box, oh, third ball, you just got to go for the mark. I'm telling you what, Chris is actually leaving the door open for Dean, so yep. Dean better answer. Found the head pin, there double. it is. Well, no, I close the door a little bit. <laughs> well, what a I think he slammed his foot in. One, three, pocket, the pins just explode on lane number four, box number four, string number two. If Dean's going to do it, he's got to start it now, because he's not going to... He's got that look in his eye, though. Yeah. He's got that. I'm pissed. Look, <laughs> he doesn't give up, man. He's yeah. a fighter. I'm yeah, gonna tell you. Three veteran candle pin bowler. Three strep approach. Drops the shoulder. Fires. Wow. He just missed the head pin. He probably would have got a strike on that ball. Yeah. Now he's left. The four horsemen left in oh, the seven eight. The Kaleri. Which this is your plus the seven. Kaleri plus the seven pin. Or as we call it, the Hallberg. <laughs> oh wow. Jeez, the Hallberg. Bob's. Kaliri hangs out with a guy, uh, Rich Hallberg. He's a oh. tall guy. He's a very nice guy. Why do you yeah. give him new new definitions? Because he's he'll forget. Or well, he'll be like, what? Or he'll mispronounce now, now, it. Now wait a minute. He'll call it the Holliston or the Holiday or David. You know what the seems like grown, the Doc Holiday. I'm yeah. all about research. I'll be Huckleberry. If I hear Love something, that. favorite movie. If Part I two. hear something, I like to know what it is. That's all. Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh. Wow. How did that one not go? How Man, that was a beautiful ball. How did Val Kimmer not win an award for that role is what I want to know. I don't know. Who's Val Kimmer? Oh, that went me. I'll you be your Huckleberry. Best movie. Yep. What? Hands what? down. You ain't no Daisy. You ain't no Daisy at all. Nice oh, there nice you go. Now, best movie ever made was American Graffiti. But back to back, Mox matched in the fourth, okay. After four, Chris Monahan at 47 working on a strike. Dean Sullivan at 44 working on a spare. 12 pin lead for Chris Monahan right now. Oh, I've always been partial to, um, um, now it, as it was on the lips. Ooh. Look at this. He should have had like two or three. He's dropped eight. He's left the eight and the Pulp ten. Pulp Fiction. I haven't like, seen that in a while. That's a good movie, Pulp yeah. Fiction. I like Pulp Fiction. Where are you going here, Dennis? Slap and tickle. Yeah. Pretty much. Slam it around. Some about spray and pray. Wood way right. There yeah, it is. That's what I would have. Yep. Some about Quentin Tarantino movies. People either love them or they hate them. There's really no in between. Well, I kind of like, you know, Pulp Fiction was pretty good. You know? Spear on the street. He does do some weird stuff. I will say that. But I enjoy his movies. Oh. oh. Wow. I don't know how that six pin still. What's he got? The six, seven, ten? Yes. And we got a piece of wood rolling up and it ain't going back. Slightly. Now we're fill going. The, fill the spear with seven. Not yet. I'm waiting to see what happens here. Uh, Rest it right up against it. Nope. It did fall. That's why I was waiting. <laughs> now where's he going? Uh, I'd go right where the five pin would be. Yep. This is a slap and tickle. Yeah. Red, red line to Deadwood there, David? Dennis? Yeah. Yep. yeah. Get something bouncing off that wall. Oh, all of a sudden, it got quiet here. Too Ooh. high, way too high. Who's an important shot? No, concentration by the ball. There's no, Dennis, as far as I know, when you pro league, do they have a time limit? No, there's no time limit in the canopy ball. Ten pin there is, not canopy. Oh, there isn't? And that phony baloney thing? What, like yes. 10 seconds? I, I don't know. Oh, it's kind of funny how, how quick the phony baloney caught on. <laughs> <laughs> who cares? Hey, it could have been give worse. We could have called the worst thing. For all I care, they could give him a five-minute delay. I have five minutes. Who cares? Okay, here goes dinner. What else would you call it? Some something derogatory. <laughs> Big shot here for doing something. Oh, it's here. Oh, oh they, leaves the five pin. I, again, the that was a bomb. He just made it. This ball. Oh, 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 it goes oh, for the strike. Oh, the five the pin. People were applauding. Wow, that was like the longest won. strike in history right there. The bowling gods have rewarded Dean you know Sullivan. What? I missed that, so I'm going to have to watch the replay on that one. It was the piece of wood that came rolling back, rolling back, rolling back. Where, and where did it come from, David? Somewhere in the pit, obviously. Yeah, but it didn't, no, it didn't come from yeah. the pit. It was on the plate. Dang. Unbelievable. Wow, that was... That was the shot of the night so far in the championship round. That was just as funny as Jimmy Nestor's 22-second spinner. Yeah. Well, that was just like slow motion, pin rolling back. It hit it just enough. 
Oh, nice, nice shot. Pick up. Like how late were you stuck? You know, I really, with that one that Dean, with that one that Dean dropped, I really thought for sure that that five, that pivot rolling up against the five was actually going to stop and sit. Oh, really? I never expected yeah. it to drop it. After six, Chris Monaghan at 84, Dean Sullivan at 84 working on his spear. Ten pin lead for Chris Monaghan right now. This, I'm telling you, it's going to come down to the last box. The last box, the last ball. The crown. The coveted king of the palace oh, world title. I'm absolutely. sorry, it's nine pins. Absolutely. I forgot he had a nine You're box. absolutely correct, David. There's only one. Wow, look at this. He leaves the one, five, seven, ten. I think he's pressing right now. He knows that he's close. I don't, even, I don't even know what to call this shot. Mess. Ooh. Let's call it a six box. Yep. No, he didn't want that. Okay, he's got to forget about it. Hey, how's our buddy? Uh, how's he going? There he is. Wait for him. <laughs> Travis Flock. There's only one Travis Flock, people. The best of the I don't think he's waving back. I think that's something else. No, he's concentrating on the camera. He's not going to take it. No, I think he's saying that you're number one. <laughs> oh, I really? I, 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 well, I appreciate him. He's on the sign that says Fire Steve Bronchard. <laughs> no, that, not from my buddy Travis. That one in that. <laughs> well, we're shooting a very difficult spear here. Very difficult. Ooh. Ooh. Wow, oh. the door is wide open for yep. Dean now. He needed man. to go a little bit left on that. Dean can really open this up with another good fill. Yeah. What's he got? Dean's got three in a row, right? Yes. He's on a tear right now. He's got a turkey. He's going for an eagle. Dean's chomping at the bit to get up there and start throwing. Well, he can taste blood in the water. Let's see if he uh, capitalizes. Yeah. You are watching the King of the Palace, brought to you by North End Mazda Subaru and Watch Me Suck at Bowling. This is for the world title. He drops nine right now. The match is even. Chris Moynihan really thought he had that spare, Dennis. Dean taking a couple box. extra seconds, man. Okay. Big ball's coming yeah, up. He's taking a little extra time here. The three-step approach, drop the shoulder, throw the ball. Oh, oh Rick's a rack. Oh, my. Dean goodness. is just not going to go oh, quietly in the no, night. He's no, going to tell him. He's, he's looking right at the kid saying, I oh, am. Oh, my goodness. Spear strike, spear strike. Four in a row. He's got the eagle. Yep. He's Dean, going after the bat. Dean saying, you don't have your partner here to save you. Oh, but the titles are mine, baby. I'm coming that, after That's it. what he said in an interview. He said, oh, Kevin, your you, you, partner carried you. The BCT. <laughs> I was trying to get more of it. I was, I was trying to get a little edgier, but they just weren't falling for it. Ah. Uh, it was a good ribbon, though. Good ribbon going on. Let's see if he can pick this up. This, low, is, a, this is a tough low, shot. Low left on the wood, David Sp Dennis. Split the 3-6. The three split, six. The, no, split the 3-6 to try to send the, the 6 no, see, the three over to the... I would have played the wood in the middle. No, because that one piece of wood is behind the 3. Nice well, he got four marks in a row, which is an eagle. It's all right, man. This is going wide open. After eight, Chris Monahan at 100, Dean Sullivan at 122. Dean's up 13 pins going into the, the last pressure's on the kid now. We'll see how well he does well, with pressure. Four marks He's in taking a few extra minutes. He's looking at the score, looking what he needs. So why we take that, we want to thank our sponsors, North End Mazda, Subaru, Lunenburg, Mass. Visit buynorthend.com. Visit them in person. See Marty Babineau's excellent sales staff on a new or pre-owned Mazda or Subaru. Thank you to watch me suck at bowling. Go to YouTube, type it in. Visit my friend George and watch him do parodies on Canlipin, 10 pin, and duck pin. Thank you guys for sponsoring season five of the King of the Palace. Thank you everybody who came out during season five to partake in what we do and believing in what we do. We can't do what we do without you. And made history with the first ever woman champ. That's right. From all the from all the champs, the PCTs, the women's champ, everybody on come Facebook, on, on. YouTube, local access. Thank you for tuning in and believing in what we do. Also, thank you to everybody behind the scenes. Dennis, Steve, myself, Amber, the OEPD, and of course, the bowlers. Oh. We can't do this show without you. Thank you very much for everything this season. You guys have been spectacular. Chris Monahan really thought he had that last pass. I did too. It might be done. He's down nine. It's and all academic now for Dean. 24, 9, 15. He needs 16 pins to be the 24. champ. 24, he needs 12 pins. So he needs 12 pins and two boxes. So it's a mark. 13. 244 to 240, 255 right now. So Dean needs 12 pins in two boxes. He needs two sixes. Or he can end it right now with a mark. That he could. You know what Dean wants is bad. He wants to throw a hammer right now and just look back at him and say, Gotcha. Ah, ah. Oh. Oh. Uh oh. This could be interesting. Uh, 
this five. Yeah, just one pin, right? For the six. He needs, he needs 13 pins to win, right? No, 12 pins to win. 12. And oh. And there's nine of them right there, so I don't think he's going to throw that. Well, you never know. You I'm not going to say never. never. No. He could throw, he could throw uh, half with the whole hole. Yep, yep. Ooh. Nine box. This is going to be a big uh, box oh, for David, Dino. David, you got your wish. You said you wanted to come down to the last box, the last ball, but it's if probably going to be the first ball. Dean's looking to see what he needs. To see if it's three pins. Yeah, see if it's in the cards. It's a tight match, man. This is for the world title. Is three Dean going to pull it off right here? One ball. We'll tell it all. Just needs three pins. Just keep it on the alley. Be fine. There it is. Boom. Oh. There it is. We oh. have the king of the alley. There you go, That's baby. The and the new reigning king of the palace to finish off season five, my good friend Dean Sullivan. Yeah, sure no. Manchester, New Hampshire. Manchester, all right. He, all right. he erratic the demons of Chris Monahan and Kevin Padgington in the BCTs to turn around and lay wood to the youngster, Chris Monahan, to claim the world title. Six marks in the last box, did it? Composed to three for to Chris. Great Can bowling all the way around. Excellent Can bowling. bowling. Thank you, everybody. With, finishes with a five drop. Who cares? What's the final? Dennis. Uh, Chris Monahan with a 124 string puts him at 255. Dean Sullivan with a 146 string puts him at 268. 146. Told the story, Dennis. David. Congratulations to Dean Sullivan and the new King of the Palace. Now let's get to the 11th box with the Nuz and meet the winner and the new champ, Mr. Dean Sullivan. Welcome to the 11th box. I'm Dennis Nuzzo, staying here with the new King of the Palace champion, Dean Sullivan, which was so richly deserved. And I'm sure a very sweet victory. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? It was a great match. He had a chance. He had me on the ropes. I came back. That's, I threw the ball. That's all I can say. Throw yeah. the ball on the pins fall. Yeah, at one point you were down quite a bit, and then you just reversed it on him. Um, 268 to 255. Great match. A lot of marks. Um, what, what are your thoughts on getting revenge for the BCT loss? Eh, it's, it's okay. I want his partner back in next time, though. Beat them both. You hear that, Kevin Sullivan? Uh, Kevin, Kevin was saying Kevin Sullivan. We're talking Kevin Pageanton. He wants you next time, so come on down. What are your thoughts? Hey, Dean. What can I say, man? I've known you for a long time. I've, I love the way you throw the ball. Um, I had no doubt that with between you and Monahan, it was going to be a spectacular match, and you guys did not let us down. At one point in time, if there was no handicap after that first match, it would have been only one pin. That's how tight it really was. So the handicap is what made it a close game. Yeah. Did you hear that, Chris? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. All right. I, I, I'll give Steve about seven words to talk. There you go. Dean, the last time you we were on, you were the only bowler on the show. And I got up and I told you, you got eight marks in a row. I don't think it's ever been duplicated. You almost did it again tonight. Four in a row. What? Spear strikes? Spear, if whatever. Actually, if you actually go back and watch the tape, it's 12 in a row. Well, yeah, that's right. But eight months string. I consider that great bone. Congratulations. Thank you. For being the king of the palace. The most exquisite, excellent, whatever you want to call it, championship belt. The world, title, the world title. You said it. Couldn't said it better, David. That was a lot more than seven words, man. I'll tell you. It's the championship. Do you charge him? I'm going to say charge him. A dollar a word. But, yeah, you, you, very, you deserved it very well. Um, congratulations once again. Thank you very much, guys, for watching Season 5. We'll see you in Season 6 for King of the Palace. See you then.